Okay, so we're still doing question 23 of exercise 9F. Part B is asking us to find the probability of randomly selecting a student who enjoys bushwalking. So the very first thing that we need to do when answering this question is determine what are my possible outcomes. So in other words, what my denominator is, what my sample space is going to be. Because we're figuring out how many students are going to enjoy bushwalking, we're, we're uh, considering the entire population of the school, which is going to be 500 boys plus 400 girls. So let's go 400 girls plus my 500 boys is going to be my denominator. My numerator is going to be my favorable outcomes, what I'm actually after, which is going to be the people who enjoy bushwalking. We know that 40% of the 400 girls enjoy bushwalking. 40% of 400 is going to be 160. And 35% of the 500 boys enjoyed bushwalking. 35% of 500 is going to be 175. So now, in terms of our total possible outcomes, it's going to be 900 because that's the total population of our school. And the kids who enjoy bushwalking is going to be 160 plus 175, which is going to be 335. And you have to represent this as a decimal. And the back of the book has it as 0 0.372. Perfect. So that is our answer to B. Let's now move on to C, which is asking us to find the probability of selecting a girl given that they enjoy bushwalking. The first thing I'm going to do is write down my formula. So what it's asking us to find is the probability of a girl intersection with enjoying bushwalking over the probability that we select someone who enjoys bushwalking. We already figure out, figured out what the probability of B is. It's going to be 0 0.372. So let me immediately put that in there, 0 0.372. And we also figured out girl intersection with enjoying bushwalking back in part A. So if we go up here for a second, here it is here. It's just my B and G are on opposite sides, but that doesn't matter. So I'm going to bring down 0 0.78, 0 point, sorry, let me say that again, 0 0.178 down here. 0 point, 0 0.178. And my answer to this is going to be 0 0.478. So that's going to be my answer to 23C I, 0 0.478. Let me now go on to my last question, which is asking me to find the probability of randomly selecting a girl given they don't enjoy bushwalking. All right. So again, I'm going to write out my formula. So I need to figure out the probability of girl intersection with doesn't enjoy bushwalking over the probability of someone who doesn't enjoy bushwalking. And hopefully, whoops, that, let me do that again. That complement should be inside my bracket. The probability of someone who doesn't enjoy bushwalking. All right, so. We have two new things to find here because we don't know either of these things. All right, so ha let's scroll down a bit. Let's get a new color, sit back and relax. We're going to figure out the probability of girl intersection of not enjoying bushwalking. All right, so we know when we're doing this, we're considering the entire score, which is going to be 900. But now we need to figure out the girls who don't enjoy bushwalking. The girls who don't enjoy bushwalking. So if I was to come up a bit, here we're told that 40% of the girls, 40% of the 400 girls enjoy bushwalking. So that's going to mean that 60% of the 400 girls aren't going to enjoy bushwalking. And 60% of 400 is going to be 200 and 40. So 240 girls aren't going to enjoy bushwalking. So now we can come down and put 240 here because this is going to be the intersection point of the girls and those who don't enjoy bushwalking. And when we come to write this out, 240 over 900, we write that as a decimal, it's going to be 0 0.267. 
So this right here is going to go into this spot. Next, we need to figure out the probability of selecting someone who doesn't enjoy bushwalking. So again, we don't know what this is yet. We're going to have to do some working out. The probability of someone who doesn't enjoy bushwalking. And hopefully what you realize is what this is, is going to be one minus the probability of B. And we know what the probability of B is. We can scroll up. We figured that out here is 0.372. So what it's going to be is one minus 0.372, which is going to be equal to 0.628. And that will be our answer to the probability of people who don't enjoy bushwalking. So now I'm going to come up and in this spot, I'm going to put it 0.628. Then I'm going to get my calculator and go 0.267 divided by 0.628, which is going to be equal to 0 0.425, 0 0.425. And that is the answer in the back of the book for this question. So as you can see, this one was a bit longer than most questions, that's why I broke it up. And uh, hopefully this has answered all your questions about question 23.